Hello and welcome to the workshop. We showed you the Jordan 4 black cement a couple days ago and I told you that that was going to be a hard video to follow up. That is a tough sneaker to one up and although I don't think that this sneaker today is better than those, these are Dylon hot fire in every sense of the word or words I should say. If you follow me on Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson, you already got the sneak peek and these are just, they're they're fuego. They are. I can show you a lot better than I can tell you though. So let's just break them out and get it on. Give me a drum roll. No. Brrr, bang, bang. The Nike SB Air Jordan 1 Lakers. These release May 25th and retail is $175. They are dope. I know a lot of people are excited about them, so I'm glad that we were able to get our hands on a pair early. It's actually over a month early right now, so hopefully this video can help you decide whether or not you want a pair. This is a sneaker that will definitely be hard to get, I think. It might be a sneaker that a lot of people gotta say, is it worth paying blank dollars over retail? We've all been there, myself included. So if you are interested in these, do not buy this sneaker until you finish watching this video we will dive into every stitch every leather fiber not really but we will try to give you the best look possible to help you make a decision before we jump into the details shouts to kicks are for us for looking out as they always do local resale shop down here in tampa florida but they also have a website and sell online i know they are doing a pre-order on these so hit them up on instagram at kicks are for us and you can connect with them Now, the sneaker. Detail-wise, you see the purple and gold, hence the Lakers, but it's really not the Laker purple and gold that we're used to. It's not as bright because there's a whole nother colorway underneath. You can see the red trim on the edges of the leather because underneath this Lakers colorway is a Chicago colorway, which is awesome. I mean, that's just, that's awesome. Reminiscent of the Lance Mountains, obviously. Not as far as the colors go, but just the whole concept in general. And it really is perfect if you think about it. Lakers, Bulls, Nike SB, Jordan 1. That's some powerhouses coming together right there. That's like the stones that Thanos is collecting. I guess we need one more. That's four, one more and a snap of the fingers and who knows? And to that same point about it being perfect, I think Nike SB and the Jordan 1 coming together, it's so organic and it's such a good union, for lack of a better word. They're such similar sneakers, obviously in the way that they look, but the essence of the sneaker. The Jordan 1 and the original Nike Dunk, both released in 1985, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, the Nike SB that we know today is a little bit different in that it was reworked to skate in as opposed to play ball in, but the Nike SB High and the Jordan 1, they're so similar. It's essentially the same sneaker in a lot of ways, in my opinion. And both were made to really wear also. They look so good when you wear them and the same can't be said for a lot of other shoes out there. You know, a lot of shoes, they look their best right out of the box. With Jordan 1s and with Nike SBs, the more you wear them, the more you live life in them, the better and better they look. Which is why this colorway under a colorway concept is so cool, especially for this shoe the all-white air force one looks amazing right when you break them out and then when you beat them up they look hideous they start to curl up into the fetal position it's just a disaster no bueno so i think this is perfect now i'm not a laker fan full disclosure nicks all day not a fan of the laker colors either as far as sneakers go the purple and gold that's a little too bright for me it's not usually my favorite but this is more of a dark purple like i mentioned and this isn't really a gold it's almost more of a tan and then there's what lies beneath. I just think it's such a cool concept and they executed it really, really well. A couple more details, black laces as you can see, but there are also three extra sets, which is nice. Wings logo on the side, Nike SB tongue tag, white midsole, all black outsole. 
They're just really, really good. Hats off to Jordan Brand and Nike SB. I think both of them have stepped it up recently after being a little bit stale for a while. So this is fire for our head tops in my opinion this is a really really good sneaker how do you feel about them though the hype is already brewing i can smell it it's like bacon on a saturday morning you wake up mom dukes is in the kitchen being a super mom chefing it up you smell that bacon the aroma you hear that sizzle in the pan you hear the bisquick the pancake batter being whisked in the bowl you know and that's what hype smells like who would have thunk it so are you believing the hype do you smell the hype or are you focused on other sneakers however you're feeling leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you i'm gonna go through all the comments i can't respond to every one of them i'm gonna go through all of them read them and respond to as many as i can really really appreciate all of you your continued support thank you for watching we really really do appreciate you very very much more than i can really even say thank you for rocking with us we will be back tomorrow same time same place right here at the workshop with a brand new video you know we do a brand new video every single day down here almost every single day i will see you tomorrow until then adios